Good morning students. Welcome to Computer Area Design course. Course code P20DE102. Week 2 Lecture 1. Course Discussion Topic on Graphics Standards. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Kids Warangal. Before going to start uh, uh, this topic, let us see the course, less course lecture outcome for this topic. After completion of this lecture, student will able to learn the following lecture outcome 1. <coughs> Discuss various graphic standards functioning at various levels of the graphic system in the world wide. Uh, here uh, I am showing uh, two different types of uh, graphic standards. First one is without graphic standard. Second one is uh, uh, with graphic standard. Uh, you can see here in the first one without graphic standard having the following step. First one application data structure or model. The second one is application program. Third one is graphic system. Fourth one is input or output device. In the with graphic standard consists of uh, uh, same steps. In the place of uh, graphic system, it consists of uh, two parts. One is kernel system. Second one is device handler or driver. The main purpose of CAD standards is that uh, CAD software should not be device and in, it is independent and should connect to any input any input device via a device driver and to any graphic display via device driver uh, this graphic system is divided into two parts first part is kernel system second one is device handler or driver the first system is kernel system which is hardware independent the second system device handler or driver uh, it is a uh, which is hardware dependent the kernel system act as a buffer buffer independent and portability of the program you can see here here two interface are there. interface a interface b at interface a the application program calls the uh, in, at interface A, application program called the standard functions and subroutine provided by the kernel system through what is called language bindings. These functions and subroutines call the driver functions and subroutines at interface B. To complete the task, required by the application program the another important uh, parameter is input or output device here the input or output devices change or become obsolete uh, its related software becomes obsolete as well as uh, unless significant resource or resources dedicated to modify such softwares this approach was very costly that means to change the input or output device uh, uh, related to graphic standards uh, <coughs> this approach was very costly to both CAD CAM vendors as well as users this approach characterized the period from 1963 to 1974 due to the undeveloped nature of computer graphics during this period <coughs> uh, the needs for graphics standards were obvious and were acknowledged by CAD CAM community both vendors and users <coughs> let us see the following uh, four important uh, needs for graphics standards the first graphic standard is application program portability this avoids 
hardware dependence of the program for example if the program is written originally for a dv dbst direct view storage to storage tube display it can be transported to support a raster display with minimal effort second need is picture data portability this is the very very important data in graphic standards description and storage of pictures should be independent of different graphics displays graphics devices uh, next need is text portability this ensures that text associated with graphics can be presented in an independent form of hardware the last important need is object database portability while the above needs you can see here the first one is application program portability second picture data portability third one text portability while the above needs concern cad cam vendors transporting design and manufacturing data from one system to another is of interest interest to cad cam users in some cases a company might uh, need to ship a cad database of a specific design to an outside vendor to manufacture and produce the product let us uh, see the different uh, various uh, standards in graphics uh, various standards in graphic programming the following international graphics involved in to develop the graphic standard first one is ansi ansi stands for american national standards institute second one is acm association for computer machinery third one is iso standard international standards organization fourth one is gin german standards institute as a result of uh, these worldwide efforts various standards functioning at various levels of the graphics system uh, <coughs> uh, various graphics systems are shown here that is uh, igs dxf stp calls gks phigs vdi vdm napl ps let us uh, discussing about the the following various uh, uh, standards in graphic program let us see the first one igs igs stands for initial graphics exchange specification uh, this graphic standard was approved in september 1981 as the ansi ans stands for american national standards institute uh, this ans standard y14.26m it enables an exchange of model data bases among cad cam systems IGS functions at the level of object database or application data structure. The second one is DXF. DXF stands for Drawing or Data Exchange Format. This file format was meant to provide an exact presentation of data in the standard CAD file format. Next one is STEP. STEP stands for Standard for the Exchange of Product Model Data. It can be used to exchange data between CAD, uh, that means computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing, and uh, computer aided engineering, uh, and product data management or enterprise data modeling, that means PDES, and other. Uh, CX systems that means related to computer aided systems. The last one is uh, calls. CLS stands for Computer Aided Acquis Acquisition and Logistic Support. It is an US Department of Defense initiative with the aim of applying computer technology in logistics support. 
let us see the fifth one uh, this is a very very important graphic standards in CAD CAM GKS GKS stands for Graphics Kernel System <coughs> already I have shown in the first second figure uh, with graphic standards with graphic standards and device driver GK stands for Graphics Kernel System is an ANSI ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute and IS4 International Standards Organization it is device independent host system independent and application independent it supports both two dimensional and three dimensional data and viewing it interfaces the application program with the graphics support packages the next one is PHIGS PHIGS stands for programmers hierarchical interactive graphic system is intended to support high function workstations and they are related to CAD CAM applications the significant extensions it offers beyond uh, GKS 3D are in supporting segmentation used to display graphics and the dynamic ability to modify segment contents and relationships uh, PHIG operates at the same level as GKS interface already I shown in the uh, first slide that is uh, uh, interface A and interface B it is act uh, it 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 operates at the same level as uh, GKS uh, interface A the next graphic standard is VDM v VDM stands for virtual device meta file it defines the functions needed to describe a picture such description can be stored or transmitted from one graphics device to another graphic device it functions at the level just uh, above the device driver that's shown in the various standards of graphics programming sketch vdm is now called cgm cgm stands for computer graphics meta file <coughs> the next graphic standards is v DI VDI stands for virtual device interface it lies between GKS or PHIGS and the device handler or driver code you can see uh, VDI inter at uh, interface B the figure is shown in uh, uh, I have already shown uh, figure B with graphic standards you can see VDI at uh, interface B thus VDI is the lowest device independent interface in a graphic system it shares many characteristics with uh, CGM VDI is designed to interface plotters to JK, GKS or PHIGS the last one is <coughs> NAPLPS NAPLP stands for North American Presentation Level Protocol Syntax. It was accepted by Canada uh, and ANSA. Already you know ANSA stands for American National Standards uh, Institute in 1983. It describes uh, text and graphics in the form of sequences of bytes in A. SCII code here uh, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchanges Interchange <coughs> Various CAD CAM uh, users or vendors are following uh, above uh, one above one of the sta graphic standard in their uh, systems for example uh, mechanical design requires uh, three dimensional modeling therefore a system that uh, supports GKS uh, three dimensional or PHIGS is required however for two dimensional applications such as VLSA design GKS 2 is suitable 
This is the brief discussion about uh, various graphics standards in CAD CAM systems. I hope this is very clear to everyone. Uh, let us see the lecture outcome re revisited. Having completed the discussion on graphics standards, now students should be able to uh, learn the following lecture outcome. That is discuss various standards uh, functioning at various levels of graphics system in the world wide. Uh, for more information, student will be able to uh, read the following textbook that is Ibrahim Jaid and Shiva Subramanian RR CAD CAM Theory and Practice Second Edition New Delhi that is Tata McGrahill 2010. The reading chapter is 3.2. Thank you for watching. Please uh, do like and subscribe my channel for more videos.